Okay, so today we're gonna to do something pretty cool. We're gonna make our own custom text template and we're gonna base it on the free Fusion titles that are available in DaVinci Resolve 15. We are going to customize those and we're gonna save those and so they are available in your menu system. So stay tuned so you can save some time in future projects by having your own custom templates. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to try to just utilize one of the free Fusion titles. If you go to the effects library under titles, there are Fusion titles. And let's just select one of those. This one is a kind of a centered text and it has an upper heading and a lower text as well. And so we do have some options in our properties window here. We can change our font, we can change our size, we can change our text. And so we can go into each of these, we can change the color. We wanna make it a blue. So that's pretty good. There are some limited options that we can control here, but we only have minimum control here. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. I think there's more that we can do with this. So if we select the actual clip, we can see that it is, it is a fusion template. We'll open that up in Fusion. And so now you can see there's the stack nodes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this media out. And I will open up this by double clicking it. So we can see this whole flow here. And so it goes through this progression. We have the upper text and we have the lower text. We're merging them together and we're creating another title merge here. So first thing we can do is if we don't like that position, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here so we can take a look at it. So we can see that it's centered and we can certainly make some adjustments on the position in each of these nodes. But I think the easiest way to do this is I'm going to just click on the flow area, press shift space bar and type in transform, hit add. And so now I'm going to connect the output into this transform. The output of the transform into the media out and so if we take a look at this now so I, I have this view before the merge or before the transform shown in the right window I'm gonna put the media out in the left window so with this transform selected I can just move it right on the screen on where I want it and I can also go in here and change the size so if I wanted to make this like a lower thirds type text I can quickly do that with this transform node. So that's the first step. And so now if I wanna change properties on the actual text, I had limited possibilities in the actual editing window, but I have a lot more I can do here in Fusion. So I'm gonna, I pulled up the upper text into the left window. I'm gonna go into that, select it. We can take a look at what we have available. So obviously there's still the color, there's the size, everything up here was really available in the editing window. So, but there are some more things that we can do here. So if we go to the actual shading elements, say we wanna add a stroke around this text. So I'm going to select enabled. And now, so I have a red stroke around the text. And so let me change that, change it to a black. And I can increase the thickness a little bit on that. So you can see that showing up in the left window. It's not showing up in the right window, um, mainly because we have this additional text color node built into there. And so let me pick on that. And so this is just setting the color of that overall text. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna just delete that out of there and I'll connect the actual text here. I'm gonna delete. And so now we can see the stroke is, is showing up there. We could do the same thing with the bottom if we wanted to. Um, what else can we do with the text? We'll just look at that real quick. So if we wanted to add, say, a, a border around it, we'll enable that. And so now we have this, kind of this border around each of the characters and we can extend this. So we get kind of a continuous border. I can round the edges if I want to. 
although that kind of gets weird, gets a little bumpy there. And I can decrease the opacity if I want a little bit. And so that looks pretty decent. And say, let me move this up here. So say if I like that, so let's go down to this lower text, click on that. Actually, I what I want to do with this text is this size is too small. Go here to a 1.5. Okay, so let's change the color of that. So we have a lower text color here as well. I'm going to pull that out, get rid of this one. I'm going to change the color right in here to text here. Let's change this to say go yellow here. This one. Okay. So if this is what I want, say say this is the final configuration of this text that I want to have in there because I want to have that stroke in there. I want to have a background behind the text. Um, we can obviously do any customization we want. That's probably not the most important thing. I just want to show you how to customize things and use this transform easily to move things. So the next step that we want to do is I'm going to close this so it's small again. And so I have these two nodes here. I want to select them. I don't want to select the media out. So I'm going to just drag those to grab them. And I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to say group or I can hit control G. Now I have a group. And I'm going to just select that, hit F2, and call it custom one, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now that I've renamed it, what I want to do is make sure it's selected again and hit control C, open up a text editor. I'm using notepad plus plus. You can use whatever you want. It can't be word or something like that. You want to have something that's pretty simple. I'm going to hit control V so that copies my code in there. And I'm going to do a file save as, and I've already got this set up. Um, so here's my path. So I have program files. This is where Blackmagic uh, folder is and DaVinci Resolve is saved under there. I want to go to Fusion, Templates, and then Fusion. And then, so this is already pre-built and you want to add a folder in here called user, whatever you want to call it. I called mine user. And so I'm going to call this custom one. And we want to save this as a dot setting. Hit save. Okay. So now when we go up here, so we're in the fusion tab here. So say I want to delete that out. So now I just have my media out. If we go up here to templates, we have to be in the effects library again. And now we're going to see the user. You'll have to restart your uh, DaVinci Resolve to have this show up. So you can see it's not showing up yet. If I restart this, it will show up the next time. User templates. And I'll go ahead and do that so you can see it. Not going to save it. Okay, I'm opening just a new, a new project here. So when we go to the editing window here, we don't have anything ready yet. So let's go to generators first. And I'm going to say fusion composition, drag that into the timeline. I will go into fusion now. And so we have our media out. So now if we go into templates, user, now we can see custom one. We can drag it on to the flow area. If you want me to open that, you can see everything's still there. To drag that open to get everything back open there, but you get the idea. You can play around with that. So now, if I go out to the media out, there we go. So we have that saved for a future project. The only little issue there is you have to restart Fusion, but you can make as many of your own templates as, as you want. Uh, these custom text templates are really great to save time in the future for projects. So starting with those built-in Fusion title templates are really great. And you can customize those and learn from those and create your own. Hopefully that helps you out in a future project. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And so you'll see what's coming out next. And you can help support our channel. 
but please like this video and try it out. Just take a look at those options and save yourself some time on your next project. Thanks for watching.